Good morning, you guys. So, I'm doing a mini skincare, um, what I use on my face. Um, now, I did have a little haul to show you guys. I didn't mean to do that, but um, basically it's the... So, I have this in the ordinary. Um, it's the Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA Surface and Hydrating Formula. And then I have a retinoid 0.5%. Um, I have that. Now, I'm not going to use that now. And then I also read re up on my AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. This right here is a game changer. I haven't had it in a long time. But I want to start back using it. Not now. Um, the only thing I'm going to be using today is the moisturizer. Um... Now, I did also get the Tarte, um, what is it, um, Contour Concealer in 53 New Deep, because I don't have one, um, and then also I have a Morphe brush, what is the number on this, um, M22, um, uh, 4, it's a contour brush basically for my eyebrows because I needed another one. So let's get into it because I got to go to work. And I decided not to get up on time. So I'm just wetting my hands, getting a little bit of soap. So I like to get it bubbly um, before I put it on my face just because I was told that it's better. It's like it's activated before you put it on your face. I don't know how true that is, but I've seen it on, um, basically I think, what was the lady's name? I don't remember her name, but she was an esthetician. And she said that before you put a cleanser on your face, make sure that you get it bubbly first. So, I mean, I feel like it saves time. Um, I can't say that. So now I'm gonna do this um, for about 60 seconds, if possibly longer. Usually I just do it until I feel like my face feel clean. Um, and then if it still doesn't feel squeaky clean after the fact, um, then I'll rinse it off and then I'll go through it again for a second time. Then, Now, this is just something simple and I don't want to use a lot of stuff on my face. Now, as soon as I get my hands dry, I'll show you what I'm actually using because I didn't do that. And you want to kind of massage it into your face. Like, massage it because it's supposed to be like a treatment. You're enjoying yourself. You're treating yourself. So, that's basically what it is. And make sure you get them eyebrows if you're like me. I peel in my eyebrow area, wet hair, going back in it. I also get around my lips because when my period comes on, I usually break out with pimples in this area around my face and on my chin. You know, the usual common areas. I know it seems like I'm being rough, but I'm really not. Oh, this feels so good. Now, the reason why I'm not using the peeling solution now is because I have a scar on my face that hasn't healed yet. Um, and I don't know if I want to try it ju again just now because I have kind of been working on detoxing my face from using chemicals before I get back into it because um, if you guys don't remember... I used that soap that kind of, I think it was the soap and plus everything else I was using on my face. It, in all honesty, it might have not even been the soap. It could have just been, I was using too many things on my face. So you gotta make sure you get it all on. Excuse me, y'all. I gotta blow my nose, so if you don't like to hear that, just, I 
Now, usually my skincare has more steps in it, but just like I said, I've been trying to try new things, you know, to help with my skin, just to help get rid of the dark marks. Now, what I'm about to use is Alpha, let me see, can you see the name? That's what I'm about to put on now before my moisturizing. Just like I said, I'm keeping it simple. And I am gonna put that over the scalp. Now for this, you just wanna tap it into your face. You don't want to rub it, just tap it. I have some things I did. I'm doing an Amazon haul in a couple of days. I'm probably gonna wait till Tuesday to do it um, because that's when everything is gonna be here and I'll do a better skincare on what I would do like a spa day for myself. Now, okay, so that is for the most part all tapped in and you kind of see I have some pimples. Oh, that's disgusting. But I like it. And it's still there. Hold on. I just want y'all to... I know some people like to see that. Everybody don't have perfect skin, you know? Okay, so that's gone. So now I'm going in with the moisturizer. It's very sleek, you know? It's real nice. Now, I did rub this on a little bit. Not on my face, but on the back of my hand. And it's so like buttery. I'm not gonna use a lot because I feel like a lot would go a long way. Now, because see that? You see how it just moves over like. It's like it stretches. See, and now it's like, oh, and this also have hyaluronic acid in it as well. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, so I do got to do one more dot on the forehead. And I'm just going to rub it in. And all oh, I'm skin, like, they got my skin feeling real nice. <clears throat> now that's about it that's how simple my skincare normally is depending on if I'm doing a peeling solution or stuff like that because you know you got to kind of tweak what you use because some stuff you can't use now um that is actually about it now I do use this on my face And yeah, sorry about that, but that's about it. I'm dressed for the day. I work from home, so I'm not going anywhere. So yeah, that's why I kept it simple. Now, if I probably was going, you know, outside of the house or something like that, then I probably would have done a little bit more um, just for the protection, like um, sunscreen and stuff like that, but keeping it nice and easy. Now, um, I hope you guys enjoyed my mini skincare routine. Um, you know, you're going to be seeing more great content from me. But I hope you guys like. Make sure you comment and subscribe. And I'll holler at y'all later when I get off work.